Okay, so here I'm going to go over a very, very a simple example of using uh, SAS base within SAS EG to uh, actually write code in order to do a uh, Boxcox uh, transformation. Uh, Boxcox transformation is basically a transformation, nonlinear transformation on your dependent variable. So when doing ordinary least squares, sometimes, well, many times actually, your dependent variable will violate the assumptions of ordinary least squares. And when this happens, a lot of times it helps to convert or to transform the data rather <clears throat> your independent variable to something that's more more normal and this is what the box cox transformation does and so we're going to do it uh, using a sas based code so here i have this uh, data set uh, it's very simple i have an x variable with all numeric variables or values and then a numeric y va uh, variable with a bunch of numeric uh, values as you can see so First thing we're going to do when we want to actually program in SAS base or SAS EG rather is uh, we go to file, and go to new, and then we have an option here for a program. So we'll click this, and this is where we're actually going to program. So for the box cox transformation, first we're going to do is we want to if we if we don't want any out, uh, uh, statistical graphics. Uh, we could just type in the code, run it, you know, it's all, all that good stuff. But a lot of times, you know, it's good to see, to visualize what's going on. So what we want to do is first turn on our graphics. So we do ODS. And one of the great things about programming in SAS, uh, SAS EG, uh, which doesn't happen in SAS base, um, is that you get these options. Like it, it pretty much gives you hints and from where to go from, from where you type. So ODS and then... We want graphics, so we can just double click it. And then it's either on or off. So since we're just starting the program, we'll do on. And then make sure you put semicolon. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is call on the actual procedure that'll allow us to do the Boxcox transformation. So we have we're gonna use a proc step. So whenever you're doing a procedure, it always starts with proc. And then for the boxcox, it's called trans reg which is that right there. And then we have to specify which data set we're gonna be using uh, for our data. So we type in data and then equals. So this is actually gonna be in a work file. So we can double click work and then put a period. Then it tells us what our options are to choose from for uh, our data sets. So the data set I was working, if you see on the left hand side is uh, in uh, titled BC under, uh, underscore example one that text. So that's the file we're going to use. So we can just double click it. And once again, make sure actually we'll call it for a test. And then we close it with a semicolon. All your statements, make sure you have to have to end with a, um, a semicolon. So after we've called on the procedure, now we have to specify the model. So we type in model and it gives us what kind of models we want. So we want to do a box cox. And then we just pretty much tell it uh, the variables we want. So this is saying that we want a transformation on the variable y. And then this identity will basically just keep, keep the x values the same. So we want to transform y, our dependent variable, and leave our independent uh, variable alone. And then we close that statement with a semicolon. And then we do output out. So we're basically going to output this information into another data set called, we'll call this transformation. And we end that with a semicolon. And then we go ahead and run this. But what we wanna do is actually, uh, actually fit this now, transfer. so all we did was just transform this variable. So we still have to do, in practice, you would still do your regression analysis. So that's what we're gonna do right here. So now we'll do the proc reg which is just a procedure for regression analysis. And this, those, those of you that uh, are familiar with linear regression models, the proc reg uh, procedure will actually uh, fit the least squared estimators to uh, linear regression models. So here, we can do the same thing. We're going to call the procedure the proc reg. So it's proc, and then you see our options, reg. Okay, and same thing, we have to choose the data set we're going to use. So. We, tra we transformed 
our y variable, and, and then we put all that information into a data set called transformation. So that's the data set we're going to call on now. And since it's actually been created in the program, we can just call on it straight without a work uh, extension. So, or prefix rather. Formation. Okay, so we have the procedure, reg, data equals, and then our data set transformation that created in the previous procedure. Okay, and then here we're just going to call our model. And we'll do ty equals tx. And we can go ahead and run this. And we got everything we want, so then now we can just go ahead and turn off our graphics. So we just do the exact same thing we did at the top, except now we just turn it off. And then we click run. And here we go. Here's all of our... Our information is a lot to go into, but this, I'll, just, I'll just keep this very basic. So this is all of our statistics, everything we would use to see how our how our uh, data was actually transformed, if it's actually normal or not. And that's the whole goal of this to create to make it as normal as a as uh, as close to normal as we can possibly get. And this is all of our fit diagnostics to see how well it actually fits. And this is our residual plots. And so there you go, with just a little bit of code, not much, uh, you can do so much, so much stuff. And all this code you can get on the, uh, it's all SAS document, it's all, you can get on the uh, uh, SAS uh, uh, webpage. But once again, it's just a really quick, simple way of doing a Boxcox uh, transformation.